Hello everyone and welcome back to Crash Landing. We are back, we're in our beautifully crashed ship. Um, and in the last episode, as you can see here, the progress made was phenomenal. We now have a massive compound. This stuff is hideous, but we'll have to get rid of that at some point. It's it's not an issue, it being there, but it, I mean, it's clearly really ugly. Um, we've got a bit of a farm getting set up. Once again, some of this spot's just quite hideous. I'm, I'm thinking we can solve a lot of these problems this episode. I, I've got a little bit of a plan in terms of what we're going to try to do. Um, but yeah, so far so good. <laughs> so we've got a farm that's growing some food. We've got area to uh, grow some more trees. That's obviously going to be good. I'm currently just, uh, I guess, cleaning out my inventory a little bit through the use of turning these bottles into... Um, well, water. Um, so, what's my plan? Well, we can probably put the torches away. We're probably not using that. Bucket can go away. Probably most of this stuff can go away, to be honest. Um, I would like to chop down a lot of trees. I think I'm going to bulk farm some trees. Now, I was going to do birch, but there's kind of no point because we do have access to oak. So, there's, there's no real reason to do birch. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, there's literally just no reason. Um, so, we'll do oak. <laughs> and that should be fine. So... That's the plan. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm sound like I'm speaking in riddles, um, but we'll, we'll try and do that. So these trees here, I think I'm just going to wipe them out um, and we're just going uh, to, uh, I don't know. I, I feel bad getting rid of them because I mean, they're good trees, you know, they're, they're good soldiers. They've, they've done a good job, but I don't really have any other dirt. So we're sort of stuck picking and choosing what's worth growing, what's not. Um, in terms of growing the trees, I think we might go back to our, uh, strat of placing multiple saplings right next to each other um so this is an apple tree i think we just do oak though like this is going to obviously grow into a big tree i also feel like these pam saplings are like i feel like they don't grow from the watering can i'm sure they do but it, i don't know it doesn't feel like they do like i feel like i could be doing this for the next hour <laughs> and, and it wouldn't have an effect on whether it grows or not um so, so i'm not too sure in regards to that. like maybe i need to do the ground and it'll three by three around and get the sapling like Am I meant to right-click the sapling? Am I meant to do the top? I'm not sure. But, I mean, the tr normal tree would have grown by now. That's what's really annoying me is that I feel like it should have worked. Do we have... I swear we had an oak because the apple sapling only cost us one. Now, I, I'm, I'm being I'm being a little bit trolled. Let me let me go look through our chest again and see if we have an apple tree. Or uh, an oak, sorry. I keep, I keep saying apple. I, I mean oak. Um, we have the avocado. That's it. Uh, the rest of these, I don't think have any saplings in them. That obviously doesn't have one. We can check down here. We have the spruce. That's about it. So yeah, we're in a bit of a pickle there. Because <laughs> we used everything else. But yeah, hmm, okay. Oh, but bingo. Okay, I was about to give up on it. This can obviously grow a bunch of apples. That's pretty good. But it also has oak leaves, which I'm going to shear down. And hope that we get a sapling from it. If we don't, we have a few ways of attempting to get one. But hey, we've already gotten three, so that's good for me. Um, we will get rid of the rest of this, um, and we'll chop it down. And I'll farm these trees, because obviously, if we get some apples, that's an added benefit. I might sleep through the night, just for that extra protection as well. I'm also tempted to put a door out there so that we can get some bones, because there are a few quests um, left that require us to do that. So, I'll tell you what. I'll get our hands on a door. I know we happen to have one, at least. We'll sleep, and then we'll, we'll go out in the direction where all these uh, uh, skeletons are. So, it looks like to the left side of our base. All right, as you can see, they're all making their way over here. A lot of the zombies and skeletons and whatnot are dying. Some of them are getting a little bit closer than others. We can help them along. The skeleton with a hat on is a bit of a problem. We'll probably let him in. I mean, surely he can't survive that. How much durability do we have on this? We have nine hits. Yeah, so there we go. There we go, that's pretty good. Um, there's obviously skeletons and stuff that are a risk. There's spiders, obviously. Um... Is this a giant skeleton? It's a giant skeleton. Can you come over here? So I can defeat you? No? Okay. <laughs> really? Hmm, okay. Uh, because we only got one bone, and obviously I, I kind of need more than that, but I, I guess that's fine. <laughs> Alright, we've, we've got a few things that I think we can work with. Um, one of the things we need, though, is a cutting board. I'm pretty sure we have one. I, I, I have to eat some food, obviously. We're, we're dying a little bit. Uh, cutting board and mixing bowl. One of these, one of these, and then I think two of these berries gives us fruit salad. This guy does one and a half hunger, so pretty good. Delicious little meal we, we can make there. Um, so I guess we'll hold on to that, and that might help us out. Can we do this? Can we do this? <laughs> I guess is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, we can. Okay, cool. Yeah, nice. Oh, you know what I should do? Uh, do we have backpacks? Oh, well, obviously, we've got the camel pack on, so that doesn't really work. 
Um, I, I've heard uh, someone remind me. There's, uh, I, I believe it was the same uh, person from the last episode. Sorry, I'm, I'm drawing a blank. It was um, Mariella, I think. <laughs> um, luggage. We need a diamond, though. Um, I want one of those, though, because they're, they're extremely helpful to have around. Um, in the meantime, I do think I'm going to head back out that door. I shouldn't be jumping. We definitely should slab up the area or even it out. I am going to go and uh, try and take these guys out. I could invest the bone meal to repair this, but I think we'll just head out here. See, what we, see if we can get rid of them. Yeah, there we go. And that gives us four bones. That's perfect. That's enough to make a crook. Um, while we are out here, I will just head out here and you know, grab some of the stuff we see. Because, yeah, there, there's some loot out here. I know there was a bunch of mobs in this direction, so that's why I sort of ventured over here. That's pretty good. Yeah, I, I'm happy with that. We'll head over this direction a little bit in case there was any on that hill, but doesn't particularly look like it. Just that scary spider in the distance. But, hey... I'm happy, we've got a bunch of bones, so we can bone mill some trees if we need to, if they're being stubborn. Um, and we can make that crook, potentially uh, finishing that other quest, because we've actually got quite a few quests to do. Um, so, if we look in here, basic survival. Oh, cooking utensils, we've got all the stuff we needed. Oh, and that gives us a pot, awesome. I was stressing about how we needed this pot for so many things, and we couldn't afford it. That's that's actually really nice, that's, that's very nice to have. Stocking eyes, make some stock, we get some spider eyes. Cool, we'll, we'll look into it. Um, tools of the trade though, a bone crook is all we need to finish this one. There we go, bone crook completed. We can pick a reward here. Now, we've got a few options. One is a bronze axe head, one's an obsidian arrowhead, one is a red heart canister. Now, the heart canister, if we look that up, um, this thing permanently increases your health. I believe it increases it by one extra heart. That's good. I, I don't think it's worth it. I, it doesn't sound that amazing, realistically. I think obsidian arrowheads, although we could probably make those, I mean, they, they just sound pretty good. I'm probably just going to grab those. Uh, oh, but we have to do more. Bone knife, bone crossbow. Okay, okay. Well, we've got a little bit more work to do. Hmm, yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> sure. Uh, in the meantime, then, let's go ahead and make some of that stock that they were talking about. Um, how do you make stock? It's like, I don't know, there's a few things. Is it two? No, hold on, hold on. Oh, it's the mixing bowl as well. Mixing bowl, and then you can add this. There's a bunch of ingredients you can do. I think you can even do carrots. Yeah, so we might keep our bones and use carrots for it instead. Let's make a few of these, because they are edible, and they're used in other ingredients too. Um, all of these can go away then. That should be fine. Um, so, that's one quest complete, or at least part of a quest complete. Oh, that can go up there. Uh, for this guy, if we combine some spider eyes, apparently, we'll get a meal. Um, did I throw out the spider eyes? I might have. Um... I don't see them in there, <laughs> so it's definitely possible we've done that. Ah, oh, really? Oh, we've got one. Oh, lucky, lucky one. Um, so, the spider eye delicious meal. Is it super making? Yeah. Okay, so we need the pot, and we need the stock, and we got this guy already. So, we'll run over here, grab this guy out. Beautiful. Chuck him in there with the stock, and we have spider eye soup. Sure. And they, they claim that this is tasty and delicious. Um... Da, 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 da. Spider eye. Disgusting, yes, but it'll keep you fed. Claim reward, we get extra spider eyes. Cool, cool. And that's all of those done. That's all of those uh, little quests done. Let's eat, let's eat it. It looks delicious. One and a half. And we didn't get poisoned. Even better. <laughs> Even better. I really honestly thought we might have. Um, that's pretty good. We'll put those away. So, we now have soups. Soups we can make. And as you can see, they're pretty decent. They're, they're good at what they do, to say the least. Um, we'll eat this carrot juice. We're good. We're, we're genuinely good. Um, so, I'm going to continue shearing stuff. We clearly do need better shears. We don't really have an option for better shears. That, that's the problem. But um, the shears are pretty good. Um, when we looked at the shears, there was precision shears and invar shears. Invar obviously being something that we might be able to get our hands on. Because it's a combination of um, nickel, iron, and iron. And in here, we have iron... And we have nickel in this form. I'm wondering if we can crush it down. Do we think that's a thing? Nickel or gravel. Um, we grab the hammer. Hammer this. We get nickel or pieces. Hammer this. We get pulverized nickel. And what we can do is we can combine these together just like this. And it will give us invar. Allegedly. Uh, that, that's what I'm thinking works. And this might be better. Hmm. Or not. Um, let's look at the blend again. Oh, sorry. Uh, Invar blend. Does it really have to be pulverized? It can't just be the dust? Gotcha, gotcha. Um, with that being said, we, we still might be able to make it happen. It, it might require a little bit more effort, 
But I do think it's doable. Let's, um... Oh, but that's not even how you make that. Yeah, hold on. You know what? Well, I'll, I'll tell you what. We'll leave the whole Invar plan for a little while. I mean, I guess I need... I, I need my hands on some, uh... Whatchamacallit? Some iron anyway. Uh, so maybe... Maybe we, we sift... I, I don't know. What, what am I doing right now? Like, what am I doing? <laughs> are, are we getting dust? Or uh, are we sieving? Or are we shearing? I mean, I've only got 27 more shears left. So, arguably, once that's done, then we move on to the next thing. Is that is that the plan? Also, what happened to our axe and stuff? Because apparently, uh, the matic doesn't actually level up unless you're right-clicking. Which I'm not sure if I believe that. I think it might be the opposite way around. Hold on. What do we have? Because, uh, no way, I've, have I right-clicked 200 blocks? No way. Um, 204. 204. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Very strange. Um, maybe hitting mobs also helps level it up? Because we have been using that to kill a little bit. I just find it, unless you get multiple for, um... Okay, so no, so the matic works for uh, using it as an axe. Okay, cool. I, I was, yeah, I was like, there's no way we've uh, tilled that much land. Um, let's also, while we're here, just combine these and, and repair it. Alright, so yeah, that's the shears done. Meaning, realistically, we need more shears. <laughs> um, which means I need to go till some ground. Oh, not till, I need to go sieve. Um, so we can do that. Oh, the other thing I realized is we should do that, uh, that sword. We, we should definitely try and do that sword. I'm sure that's going to uh, unlock some more quests. And obviously, we get the rewards and stuff. So, how do we do that? We need stencils. We've got one stencil at the moment. I feel like we need at least another one. So, I'll go ahead and uh, get that cooking up. Apparently, as well, you can just combine them sticks like this. Yeah, that's, a, that's definitely a little bit better. Um, so, we'll chuck these in here. So, what did we need? We needed a small knife blade, I believe, and a crossbar. Uh, was it a was it a crossbar pattern like that? Let's have a look. Um, sorry if you hear some noises in the background. Um, duh, duh, duh. It's a little bit windy. Um, what do we have? Okay, yeah, bone crossbar and bone knife blade. So we can grab this crossbar, and then we need a knife blade. Is that what this is? That's a sword blade. Knife blade. Beautiful. Okay, so then part builder. We chuck these guys in. We get ourselves a bone crossbar. And then we get a bone knife blade. Awesome. Um, the rest of these... I just don't know where we want to put them. I guess the rest are in there, so sure. That's where that can go. Um, and then we craft it. We're going to need a stick. I thought we had sticks. We do have sticks. I I think we need a stick. We might not. Um, and what, what are we cr crafting? Oh, oh, we manual detect. Yep, okay. <laughs> make sure you do that. Because that, that obviously didn't detect it. You make sure you click that, or else you're going to have to make another one if you end up crafting it too quickly. Um, oh, and then there's like wooden armor and stuff. I gotcha, I gotcha. So we are apparently making this. I have no clue if this is actually going to be worth it, but we'll make it a little dagger. Awesome, there he is. Um, I'm going to be honest, probably going to put that away. <laughs> what does it do? Attack two hearts. Sure, good on you. Um, I'm sure he'll level up though, you know, and like get like sharpness and whatnot. Um, anyhow, let's quickly go ahead and put that back in. Grab this guy back up. Um, and just put that away. Uh, so, so what was I saying? Uh, the next part. Oh, yeah. Wooden armor. We can probably do that. We have quite a few logs on us, and I think there's more. A little bit in there. Oh, possibly some more up there. No. Okay, sure. <laughs> Whatever. Um, I imagine it's just, yeah, just traditional stuff. Grab you, grab you. It looks like I might need a little bit more of something. Oh, unless you can mix and match them. Yo, awesome. There we go. There's your uh, set of armor that you wanted. Cool. And we can pick one. Uh, I think I'm going to get the, the arrowheads. I think I'm gonna do that. Boom, we did it. Too late. Too late if you guys are screaming. No, don't do it. <laughs> don't pick the arrow. Too late. Too late, I got him. Um, and we get a full guard pattern, which I'm not gonna use for a little while, most likely. Um, okay, so. How do we make arrows and bows from this mod? We've got the arrowheads. It looks like we use a tool rod. And then we need a fletching. So if we go through here, I imagine there's one called a fletching. What that looks like is gonna be a mystery. Chisel. Tough rod, crossbar, obviously, a plate, a lumber head, all that stuff. Large blade, bowstring. We'll, I mean, we'll probably need that, let's be honest. Fletching, we'll grab that. What else is there? Arrowhead. We've obviously got arrows selected already, so I'll be honest, I'm happy with that. I'm, I'm good with that. So, let's go ahead and give this a shot. So, in the fletching, I think you're meant to put, like, a feather or something. Now, I know we have a feather somewhere. Uh, so we'll give that a shot. I, I know that we're getting incredibly sidetracked, but um, I'm having too much fun, <laughs> to, to be honest. Do we have the feather? I'm looking with my eagle eyes now. I know we've got arrows. I swear somehow we had a feather. 
I could have used it. We might have, we might have just made arrows. Yeah, I, I think we we actually just made arrows. In that case, um, oh yeah, we can look at the ingredients uh, possible: feather, leaf, or slime. In terms of leaf, hmm, this guy's already filled up everything. No, I, hmm. Oh wait, there's a leaf in here. Yes, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Okay, so leaf, oh, leaf fletching. So it's not going to be good. Seventy-one percent accuracy, but. We have one, <laughs> so, so that's good enough for me. Um, so that's awesome. And so that will be enough to actually make us what we want. Um, let's go ahead and grab these sticks out. Now listen, I don't know if this is a great idea, so I'm only going to make one of these, right? Just, just in case this is a horrible idea. And this will make us four arrows, three attack damage, plus six average shot damage with some modifiers available, right? And um, courtesy of the extremely helpful comments as usual, there's something else we need to try. Um, so... I believe what we need is a chisel, right? And he hear me out, hear me out. There's a, there's a method to this madness. <laughs> if we make a chisel, which it looks like, do we want this chisel or can we get away with one of these chisels? We might as well try a Tinker's chisel because it's going to save us a bit of iron. Um, and the chisel pattern is that guy right there. So we'll, we'll just grab that out. Um, we'll probably make it out of literally anything it lets us. Sure. Stone chisel head. Um, can only be used to make cast, cannot be used to make a tool. Cool. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Flint, obsidian, netherrack. Cool. Okay. Awesome. Wonderful. Um, well, we have flint. So we'll try that, I guess. Um, flint, are you able to make the tool and be used? Yeah, cool. Okay. So we've got a chisel head. I imagine it combines with um, a stick. Yep. Chisel head and a stick. Okay. Does this let us chisel blocks? Okay, it lets us eat blocks. <laughs> I don't know what this is going to do. Um, but apparently what you can do is you can get cobblestone and you can chisel it. I feel like I'm eating. Am I meant to hold the cobble, potentially? Like an offhand situation? There's no offhand in the game, so that's that's probably not what you do. <laughs> um, oh, crafting table. That, that makes sense. But yeah, if we look through here, allegedly, and I guess we can probably just look this up another way, you can get your hands on mossy cobble or mossy stone somehow. Um, mossy cobblestone. Is that an option here? Um, hmm. Okay, it looks like you could also, um, fluid transpose, but I feel like... What's, what's going on here? <laughs> what did it... Hold on. I'm, I've clearly just confused myself beyond belief. I feel like it's the chisel from the chisel mod. I'll be honest. I feel like these chisels are doing something else. Um... Oh, ball of moss. Interesting. Um, essentially, what we're after here is this thing here, um, which is a ball of moss, but from a different mod, from Tinkers. If we get four mossy stone or mossy stone bricks, what it will allow us to do is put um, essentially regen on our tools. And apparently that works on arrows as well. So that's sort of what I'm trying to do. We might have to fluid transposer it, which I guess we can do. There's no real harm in doing it. Um, so I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So I think, well, what do we need? We need about nine of them, right? If we want to do this correctly, I guess. Chuck that in there. Let that process. Sure. Make sure we have a little bit of water. Wonderful. <laughs> um, the fluid transpose are fully powered, so he's good to go. Um, obviously, he's going to need water as well. So I guess maybe I'll... I'll uh... Well, actually, I guess I can just right-click in these when they're cleaned, right? I think that's an option. I can probably just put them in. In fact, can I fill? Nope. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they've got to be clean, though. So, we, we can do that. We've obviously got the potential. Um, we're going to need a lot of mossy stuff. So, um, assuming we sleep and have a nice and safe environment around us, I'll keep farming the trees. The problem is, I obviously need shears for the trees. So, yeah. <laughs> um, wh where does that leave us? I think we're back in the situation where we need a sieve. Is that? Oh, I thought that was like a bee or something. Oh, God. Alright, the stone's done, so I think what we can do is craft this with a chisel, and it'll give us stone bricks. Cool. Um, then with these stone bricks, we need to turn them into mossy. Um, so we can look through the recipes to see if somehow there is a mossy brick that we've um, magically m missed. I imagine if we make that iron chisel, we can just turn these into mossy bricks. I I'm pretty sure that is a thing, and I think that w was what was being said in the comments. The problem is... Um it's a bit of a journey to get there. I think it's just easier to put water in here. 250 mil buckets per each of these, so we'll have plenty to do. Like, I think that'll be perfectly fine. This thing would, what, crack the stone bricks? Um, oh, that's not what we wanted. Yeah. So, two options. One is we spend an iron on a chisel. 
I don't really have an iron to spend, to be honest. Um, so that's sort of off the off the table. Or we just chuck one of these uh, water bottles in there. So we'll do this to fill up this guy. There we go. Then we'll place our stone bricks here. Switch it back around. And it should fill up. And we should get mossy. So that should work. And obviously we'll get a few more out of here. One of these I might drink myself. And then I'll probably go fill up the glass bottles, especially while that inventory is empty. Um, and yeah, everything's everything's going good. <laughs> we'll probably make a bow as well, I guess. So we probably don't want to use a vanilla bow. Um, the one downside here would be the fact that we're doing... Um, uh, what's the word? I can't even think of it. Um, this will only make one moss ball, right? So a lot of effort as opposed to just one piece of iron. Um, especially if we want to do two of these for example for the bow if we want to make the bow self-replenishable and we might not even have enough power we might actually have to invest in a generator which i mean once again it's going to cost a piece of iron so uh, but, i don't know we are at the point where i need a sieve anyway so i'll tell you what we'll get sieving and when i'm done we'll figure out what we have left um in terms of quests we've finished that quest we've now got more so oh <laughs> Okay, yeah, this opened a lot of doors. Um, so this is more quest for killing stuff, sure. Um, getting our hands on enough rice and stuff, we'll get... Ooh, coffee, coffee, tea. Let me know which one I should get. Um, oh, man, if we actually followed through these quests earlier on, we would be a lot easier. Um, this, though, I, is really good. We get an autonomous activator, and we get... Ooh, we get to pick potentially eight iron. Um, cantaloupe. Cant cantaloupe. What does a cantaloupe do? Cantaloupe can make fruit punch, fruit salad. Sure, makes sense. What else can it do? That's the old dictionary. That's all it does. So it's just another food, right? Just another food. Nothing too crazy. The only thing it does that all of these other foods in this old dictionary do, the only thing it does differently, according to right here, is nothing. Just the raw amount you get from itself, which is going to be half a hunger. So that's kind of pathetic. Realistically, um, the seeds, I guess, do seed soup, but it, it, again, that's just generic seed soup, meaning any of these seeds will also do any of these 23, 27 seeds. So I say, not worth it. Cold water, we're, we're good on water. I'm going to take the iron. I think that's a, that's a good executive decision. We can probably just make the chisel now. So this whole thing doesn't really matter too much, I guess. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll just take that out. Sure. <laughs> um, but we'll get the iron. I'll make a chisel. We'll make a generator at some point. And yeah, all should be good. <laughs> sure. Um, oh god. Uh, so, let's see. First off, we'll see if that actually works. So chisel. I believe this guy has an inventory or a, or a UI. Yeah, here we go. So I place stone bricks and look. Yeah, mossy, mossy stone bricks. It's that simple. Um, so yeah, we, we should definitely get some more um, stone bricks in there. Uh, but this gives us a bowl of moss. Oh my god. It's, okay, yeah. It's all come together. Arrows go in there. Bowl of moss. Moss modifier. If we want to, because I mean, I, you're just sort of taking my word for it at the moment. We can look in here, I believe. Maybe not this one. Um, steel working? Mm, maybe. One of these should have the modifiers. Yeah, modifiers. Here we go. So we've got to go all the way to where the modifiers are. And it should tell us about it. Um, there's a bunch of different smelteries and stuff. Some crazy things. Oh, is this the one modifier? <laughs> What's it doing? Hmm. Um... I don't really, I don't really know. Have we gone past the modifiers, or is there different chapters? <laughs> um, hmm. Known reduces, purifiers. This is obviously for like a smeltery, right? How do I get to the modifier page? Table of contents, modifiers, and it just, it just never happened. Um, okay. <laughs> Does that mean it's potentially in this book? And it just doesn't. Once again, just didn't say. No. I. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Sure. Yeah. We'll uh, barricade. Oh, cool. Um, what's this thing? A punchy stick. Ooh, for mob grinding. I like it. Um, but yeah, the modifier, it's not saying in here. I guess you'll have to take our word for it that uh, this will give it regeneration. Now, oh, I guess it says auto repair right there. The problem is, I don't necessarily know how this works. Is it going to auto regen to four arrows every time? Are we only going to have four arrows? I think possibly. Either way, I'm going to craft it. Auto repair. There we go. <laughs> cool. Uh, water bottle. Is that dirty? Yep. Um, there we go. So, we still need to do a bow, right? We still haven't even done that. So, that's going to be um, the bow string. And I think the bow, whatever else, might already be in here. Nope. <laughs> nope, it's not. We'll chuck this in here. Um, we'll probably, what can we do? 
Ah, oh, string. Um, okay, we do a string. Sorry, apparently we're just, apparently today's bow making episode. <laughs> bow string, cool. So then, how does the actual bow get made? Oh, it's just bow string and then tool rods. So obviously we're just gonna use sticks because why not? Sure. So we now have a short bow with some um, auto repair arrows. How do these work? I fire my bow. Boom. The arrow gets launched out. If we pick it up, it regens here and we get four, right? If I don't pick it up, what happens? How do we know? I don't know. I don't know how the auto repair works at all. Um, that arrow has disappeared. No, it's still there. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm scared to just waste an arrow. So, I don't know. We'll, I mean, I'm sure eventually we'll shoot an arrow up in the sky and <laughs> it won't come back. And then we'll see if it does come back. Yeah. yeah I don't know. I don't really know. Either way, cool. Oh, we got a hopper as well. Oh, yeah, but yeah, we, oh, yeah, hold on, hold on. We, we have a lot to do here. So, what are we doing? Well, over here, we have a sieve. If we place an autonomous activator next to it, this guy will automatically right click forever. For example, if I put dust in here, he will automatically right click. Now, in terms of the speed, doesn't really look like there's a modifier for that. Um, but. He's on 24-7, so it probably shouldn't matter. As you can see, he sifts, the stuff falls on the ground. We do have a hopper. I feel like we're probably meant to make this guy into a vacuum hopper using obsidian and an ender pill. We don't have that stuff though, so we're probably not going to do that. I do wonder if I um, break this and I place a hopper there, will that just pick everything? Oh, I just ate dirty water, didn't, didn't I? No. Oh, I ate salt water. Okay, so we're... We're dying, but not like we otherwise would be, so... Oh, I keep... Stop drinking the salt water! <laughs> uh, hold on, hold on. I'm making just a horrendous mess. Okay, so that... I mean, that didn't work. That didn't work. Sure. Cool. Okay. We might have to worry about our water in a second. <laughs> Alright, I do want to check again. Last time, I, I swear my thirst filled up magically when I spammed right-click. So I'm going to spam right-click here again. Hmm, it hasn't. We've also just wasted a bunch of uh, stuff here because I can't pick that stuff up. Oh, wait. If we just stand in the water, it passively goes up. Look at that. Wow. What a world we live in. Um, <laughs> regardless, I'll probably get rid of that. Um, but... You know what? I'll just have to be back really quick for the rest of those. <laughs> Alright, do you know what I wonder as well? What happens if we shoot a mob with um, the arrow? Do we think that it, um... Oh, it sort of looks like there's a mob almost in the room. Um, do we think the arrow drops? Or does it get absorbed? Because in that case, we'll be able to figure out how this whole thing works. Also, as we can see, I, I left the machine running. So there's going to be a pretty big mess over there. Um, what did the quest book suggest doing with with the thing? Sieve dirt for stones. Stones make cobblestone and slab furnace. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you say what to do with the hopper? Because this is kind of just messy. I'm wondering if we do water. You know what I mean? Like, if we, if we move all this, which... It's gonna be painful, but maybe we just suck it up and do it just this once. Let's have you um, require redstone so you stop making a mess. I'll clean my inventory, I'll pick up that stuff. Let's, let's try and make a design that like has all of the goods flow into a spot, if that makes sense. Because um, if we can automate this, it's going to be phenomenal. Like, like genuinely gonna be really, really good. Um, so, bucket of water. Oh, we get a casting table and stuff. We get seared, oh, we get a, we get, okay, yeah. We get a few different things if we um make an unfired uh, clay bucket. I'm sure there's more recipes, but okay. And then what's this? Blending ores. Until you get a smeltery going, which could take you a while, you'll need a way to make invar blend. Okay, so that's a grindstone. I was tempted to make one of these. That's how I was going to actually do the, the invar, because I'm pretty sure we can just make one. Like, I think we have everything for it. Um, and then we could get, what, a battle wrench, some coils, or a tool rod. Very strange. Okay. Um, and what's the Fright Knight? Um, needle Gun Ammo, Feather Fletching, or Copper Sword Blade. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. What I'm doing here is getting us a bucket of water. <laughs> That's all that is. Uh, with that being said, we are thirsty. Alright, so yeah, let's, let's give this... Oh, he's still going. Okay, well, that, that's fine. We'll... I'll be back. <laughs> um, this is mining pretty slow. I feel like that's gonna break. Oh, can we wrench it? Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. I knew there was a reason we were holding this on for three episodes. <laughs> um, okay, so, where do we want to do this? It doesn't have to be anywhere pretty. Um, it can be quite ugly. It can even We can even make use of this water that's flowing right here. And that might be fun. That might be a fun thing to do. So, how do we want this to work? Um, what I could do 
is I could have the sieve be um, under here, for example. So all the ores plop up and they go right into there. And then what we can do is we can potentially break this, give ourselves a way to walk around. We can pretty it up by placing different blocks or something if we want. Um, so this guy is going to be a hopper. Um, obviously, we probably want it to go into a chest, so we'll might as well get that set up already. Um, might as well. <laughs> uh, do we have stuff on us? No. Do we have stuff anywhere? Yes. Um, we're also hungry again, so I'll have to do that. I made a uh, food chest as well. I don't know if I showed you guys that. Um, just outside, I made a chest to put everything. This guy here. Um, so, when we need something, like maybe some spider soup, we can eat some of this, and that'll be beneficial. Cool. Okay, so... That'll let us jump around and stuff as well, I guess. Um, so we're going to place a chest there, obviously. I don't know what we'll place. I guess we could place like a, gl a glowstone nook in that little spot. That'll probably work. Because although they're really tiny blocks, they do... Oh, there's no water flow anyway. I'll place it there just in case. There we go. Cool. <laughs> That'll keep us safe. So I'll shift right click this guy there. Um, that's awesome. Standing in this water, do we drink it somehow? No, the number's still going down. I guess it's because of the height limit. Sure, whatever. Um, so that should work fine. So then the sieve is itself is obviously going to go like here. I guess it can go right there, right? There's no real spot <laughs> that it needs to go. It can go there. Um, oh, I drank it again. I can't. It's fine that it's just salt water. The dirty water is the problem, to be honest. So we're going to break that. Um, the autonomous activator is going to go below it. Obviously, we want a way to at least look in it. Arguably, what I should do is place the nook over here where it's actually going to cause an issue. Um, so, autonomous activator will go there. Nook will go right there. Autonomous activator there. Um, the way it's facing, I don't even know. Okay, it's facing the wrong way. Now, it might be facing the right way. To check, we put in dust. Make sure that he is ignoring the amount of redstone. Um, he's currently not working, so I'll right-click again. Maybe a few times. In fact, let's have the back be um, a symbol so that we can potentially see. There we go. So now it's facing the right way. Beautiful. That's going to work wonderfully. Um, obviously, I need to go drink some more water real quick, but this would work. Uh, I'm just trying to think in terms of uh, design. Is there anything else we need to do here? Can I afford to remove this? What happens if I do? No, we get a pretty big mess. Um, in fact, it breaks a lot of stuff. Why is this flowing here now? <laughs> it was not doing that before. And by doing something, I've, I've ruined it. Okay, whatever. I feel like this is actually going to ruin the whole thing because some ores are going to get stuck in this spot here. It was perfect the way it was. Do I place you there? Yeah, that, that'll work. Sure. <laughs> and obviously, we can place something else there in the future. But as you can see, this system works. It's not perfect, but it's also not bad. Um, I can now fill this guy up with dust and he'll just passively work and this chest will passively fill up with all the goodies Obviously a little bit of dust fell as we broke things, but that should be fine And this guy's gonna fill up. We can obviously make it a double chest if we so please to if we so please to what, what am I even saying? Um, let's make a crafting table um, We'll slap this guy down You know what we can do we can slab this guy and place him down here and that'll be pretty nice. There we go <laughs> Sure, um, so you can go in there, Mr. Dust. Um, we can open you up. Go ahead and make ourselves a chest. And you can go there. Cool. So now I've got a double chest. It's going to get us fish. It's going to get us iron. It's going to do amazing things all through the beauty of this. And as you can see, it works wonderfully. Now, this guy can also left click. In case you're not sure what I mean by that, I believe you can put a hammer in this guy and he would hammer stuff, i.e. cobble. So there are some options. That's a problem. We obviously don't want that happening. Let's put the uh, let's let's put the dust back. <laughs> so yeah, cool. Um, so that's pretty good. That's honestly automated stacks upon stacks. So I'm gonna grab all the dust we have and chuck it in there because obviously there's no other reason to have this stuff unless you're building with it still. But we are beyond that point. Double check all of our chests, clean them up as much as we can. Cool. Um, so yeah, I mean that, that. I mean, hey, that's pretty awesome. Um, what you can also do, maybe I don't actually I don't know if you can, but you might be able to also fill this guy up with um dust, just placing a chest next to him and possibly having it blue. That might not work though. I'm not sure if you need to have an actual pipe doing that. Um, regardless though, I, this is a very big step. This is honestly really really good in terms of the rest of our progression. Um, I said I was gonna farm a bunch of leaves and whatnot, and that sort of didn't really happen this episode, did it? Um, there is something we can do instead which might be the next best thing. Obviously, we're trying to get some water still, which is a little... Although we have to smelt it, it's a bit annoying. 
I'll show you what we're gonna do instead. Uh, we want to farm these. I, I definitely think we do. So, using exactly what we have here, and using the bucket of water we have, let's see if we can do this. Um, so I'm gonna pick all this stuff up. I think that's play. Then we can fill up the gap, just to make it look a little nicer. And we need to put this this stuff sort of somewhat airborne. Um, now, this area, I'm going to... Uh, imagine all the wood's gone, right? This area is going to be a nice farm, possibly split up. Possibly this whole area here is going to be a farm, so I sort of want to do it a little bit in the distance. Possibly over here is a good spot. Um, so, we obviously need the sand on top of something, like wood or, or slabs or, or any of that. So, I don't really know what we're going to use, to be honest. <laughs> Alright, here's the idea. Um, we place the slabs up a block, like this. Ah... Uh, I kind of want it to be the top slab, so like this. Yeah, that's what I want. And I'm wanting it to be a checkerboard pattern. Sort of, right? Uh, so I want that to be there. Arguably, we want um, that, that. And then we want another one there. So what do I need to do for that? I need to place a block, like you, and then place you there. Awesome. So these will obviously hold sand on top of them. And then on top of those, they'll hold cactus. So I'll tell you what. We'll build ourselves up. I know it's not the safest thing we're about to do, but we'll go up here. Um, now, there is another thing we need, so I guess we'll hop back down for a second. Um, I believe you place something, so like a nook or a fence post or something in between the gaps of the cactus. And as a result, the cactus will just like plop on the ground. That, that's the word on the street, at least. You could probably use a sign. You could use, I imagine, anything. Um, with that being said, though, we don't have a lot of anything. <laughs> um, can we make fences? We can, and I think they're made like this, right? You know what? It might be a different recipe than I recall. Fence. It's only sticks. What a world we live in. Only sticks to make a fence. Wow. <laughs> it, it used to. We used to live in such a society. <laughs> um, okay, let's sleep. You know, keep things somewhat safe. I know I was going to shoot a mob the other day. Uh, maybe we do that this day. <laughs> um, is there any mobs in this direction? There is. There is a spider. Um, we've got four arrows. I open the door. We wait for it to get a little bit closer. There is a spider right there. I don't trust the spiders, to be honest. I kind of just want to kill them. This spider's still up there. It's sort of just an illusion that it's lower. Yeah. Um, so. Okay, so the, the arrows do drop on the ground. <gasps> we are... Silly. Why are we even risking that? What a silly... I mean, look at how close we were to just ruining this entire run. I... I probably would have cried. <laughs> I probably would have bowled my eyes out. Um, let's eat some stock. Let's let's eat some stock and heal up. Uh, this does one and a half. Obviously, it does it until it doesn't. So, we'll eat it until it doesn't. Is that... That looks like it's only doing one. Yeah, it's doing... Oh, no, it's still doing 100%. Is it only doing one hunger? It must only be doing one. I'm crazy. Okay. Alright, that'll heal us up. We're all good. Everything's fine. Remain calm. Everything's... We're all good. <laughs> um, okay. We have arrows. We have three arrows. I'll tell you what. We left an arrow out there. I'm going to leave him out there. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, so, what was I going to say? Um, I, I'll, I'll be honest. Don't even know what we're up to. Oh, yes. We were doing cactus stuff. Yeah. yeah. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Um, so, we come up here. Um, we obviously go up here. Um, the cactus is going to go on this block, and then above it is where we're going to place our blocks. So we're going to place, we only needed four, apparently. So we're going to place these like so. So we can place that there too. And when the cactus grows, it'll just plop off. But apparently it'll still believe that it can grow. That, that's, that's the word on the street. So we can place these like that, and apparently that's it. Apparently they will plop off and fall. Obviously they're going to fall into sort of this location. They might get thrown a little bit. We might have to build a wall around it. Maybe we'll invest in a pretty wall or maybe we'll make the moat a little bit bigger. But um, we'll, we'll test it as it is. So it'll fall all around here. And then in the perfect world, it'll flow right here into a hopper. We don't have a hopper at the moment, but that's where it would flow in theory. We could make it giant. Um, <laughs> this, is, this is a dumb idea, but we could still do it. We can make a giant um, water trail that goes all the way over to that one hopper that we have, you know, have a communal hopper in the middle that everything eventually flows back to. That That's an option. In the meantime, we're going to try to see if we can get this to work. So if I place this, it almost would. Obviously, it would end up here, and that's a problem, but we could, um, 
obviously get more, right? More more water buckets, and it would sort of help. Um, or we could have this flow sort of down here. Is, is that how this works? All right, well, it will sort of work. I'm pretty sure it will flow into this part. <laughs> and then, I don't know, we'll probably get more water and do it properly. But um, regardless, that might work. I don't know if it does. I still don't know yet. We'll have to water and can it soon. Um, but that should should sort of maybe work. Um, in the meantime, let's place this guy here so I can make some stuff. Uh, I do have a glass bottle on me, so we can save our life uh, by doing this thing. All right, I'll tell you what. Let's um let's try the water. Let, let, let's try to water this. See if uh, the stuff actually does just grow and plop off. Um, I don't know that it does, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. Oh my god. So it does, but we don't have any. Because I believe it broke off and just landed on itself. So we do have some. We obviously got two, but some of it didn't. Oh, is that... Does it grow rapidly now? Like, now that it's... Hmm. Huh. So we got two. We got two, but I feel like a lot more than two grew. You know what I mean? Like, as you can see, it, it's sort of plopping off a little bit like crazy now. Yeah, so it's sort of... It's bugging out a little bit. And so, although we're losing a, a large portion by the looks of things, a lot of it is dropping. If we had an absorption hopper, I think we'd get a lot more out of this, to be honest. And we could also have it on the ground floor instead of having this uh, horrific contraption. Um, very, very strange. Okay. Hmm. So, absorption hopper, um, or they're called vacuum hoppers in this one, aren't they? Vacuum hopper obviously needs end pill and obsidian. Obsidian we could craft which is pretty crazy. Or we could... Yeah, we need an enderpearl. Um, I'll, I'll tell you what. What is that on the map? Do you see that? What is... What is on the map in this direction? Do I dare peek? I think I dare. <gasps> what are you? You're a thief skeleton. You're awesome. I'm going to kill you, but you're cool. Wow. Wow, that was cool. Okay, awesome. The more you know. Oh yeah, as you can see, some of them uh, don't make it the full way. So we definitely do want to look into getting an absorption hopper, or, or at least having a way to get absorption hoppers. So um, getting our hands on uh, some sort of mob farm is in our best interest, I, I do think. Um, and obviously we want to sort of take on a, uh, a, a an enderman at some point. It is scary. Obviously we can just set a roof up um, and we should be fine, but I am still a little bit concerned because they will deal a lot of damage. Um, in the meantime, what have we done? Uh, the episode, it's, it's definitely nearing its end point, but I do think we have a little bit more in us, especially uh, in terms of making the farm that we haven't really done much of. Um, in terms of tree farming, <laughs> that's it. What I might do, obviously we've got all this as well. Hmm. We'll leave that there. Yeah. Yeah, we'll leave that there. I'm going to expand the farm to be a 3x3 three three here. And I'm just going to place a bunch of uh, oak trees. I am going to keep them all there. I do think that is the play. Um, so I will do this. Obviously, I'm going to need a little bit more dirt, but that should be fine. Um, I'll pick it up. Why not? In fact, I'll take this dirt because that, that's a 3x3 three three and this can be a 3x3. Three three. So I'm going to place these full of saplings. So obviously, I'm going to need some more iron to do the rest of the stuff I wanted to. Um, but that should be fine. Um, that guy over there is going to get us infinite iron. So I have, I have no, um, guilt in using this iron to make a, uh, a whatchamacallit, a shears again. Um, we still need water. <laughs> water is still, although this cactus problem should solve it, it hasn't yet. Um, we could also invest in just another hopper. Not a bad idea. Honestly, not a bad idea. We might do that right here. Um, so I'll chuck this guy in, get that guy going. In terms of the fuel that he needs, he obviously needs some more, uh, stuff. I'll chuck that in there. Cool. All right, now that we have access to this uh, autonomous activator, I'll be honest, we're sort of at the point in the pack where I I want to keep playing. <laughs> um, I, I, you might get a few episodes. I, I don't know. I don't. I obviously don't want to burn myself out. Obviously, we, we've been pretty good in all the packs we've played so far, where that hasn't been an issue. I haven't really burnt myself out. It's sort of just in terms of just Minecraft in general, right? I don't. I definitely do not want to burn myself out in, in Minecraft. I sort of did for the the latest version of Minecraft. I'm hoping this pack obviously um, is going to rejuvenate that love I have um, for the for the most recent packs, but it sort of felt like I played at all the mod seven and I hopped into all the mods eight and I was like, um, I I like everything that's happening, but the problem is 
I feel like it's everything that I've already done. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't really know what I was going to do differently. Um, which we don't usually have that problem because uh, usually all the mods are sort of different. But the versions 1.18, 1.19... They're all sort of just the same mods. They sort of just jumped. You know what I mean? Um, so I was, I was sort of hopeful because I heard that Thorncraft was making a return. So I was like, okay, nice. We'll, we'll get that. That's a fun, massive mod that'll, that I'll be able to sink some time into. Um, but I don't believe it's there yet. I'll have to double check. Um, if that is there, I'm probably jumping right into it uh, as soon as we're happy here. Um, or even even prior to when we're happy here. Um, but but yeah, I, I'm. Th this is itching a, a spot that I, I didn't think that I had, to be honest. Um, oh god, the zombies. They are very scary. Um, but yeah, yeah, we're, we're doing really good. These, these shears, I am burning through. A as you can see though, setting up multiple trees, although you don't necessarily want them all to grow next to each other, the benefit from having them be able to grow and being next to each other is massive because all of these trees have a chance to grow instead of just one tree having that chance to grow. So you get a lot of progress, um, which is very, very good. I mean, as you can see. Um, so... <laughs> yeah, but uh, the, the long story short with what I was saying is that I kind of just want to keep playing um, because I feel like, especially now that we have that thing automated, this thing could be automated. Oh my God, there's so much we can do. Um, and obviously we've got this guy here. This guy's pretty good. He obviously could be a little bit better. Once again, a single hopper on the bottom of this, or I guess if I set up a transfer node, that'll probably solve some problems. What do we need for a transfer node? Because <laughs> I, I mean, honestly, it's really, really good. Um... We need a block of redstone, some stone. We've got 99% of that stuff. Let's grab some stone. Let's grab a charcoal. We should also just make a proper furnace as well. I mean, like, what are we doing right now? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's go here. Furnaces, awesome. Furnaces are obviously a little bit dangerous um, in terms of heat. We can place them over here. So I'll tell you what, we'll place those there. The extra furnace can sit in here. Why not? Um, we obviously wanted to smelt up some cobble, which I guess I crafted with. Unfortunately, um, we'll smelt up a stack of cobble or, you know, we'll put a stack of cobble in there to get smelted. Whether it will smelt or not, will be up to, uh, I guess, the charcoal. Um, but yeah, we'll chuck this in here, chuck that in there. Awesome. You smelt up. Cool. Um, what else do we need? We just need redstone. We need some other stuff that we already have, like the uh, transfer nodes, which I think are in here. No, I've got them on me. Cool. Transfer pipes. I've just been holding them, I guess. Uh, redstone we need. We already have a decent amount. Hopefully there's more though. Oh yeah, awesome. So that's all that. We're going to need a chest. That'll be easy. Cool. And, and then that's the whole thing. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I am on board for sure. So let's grab you, grab you. Oh, th th this is, I oh, mean, this game. I, I love this game. <laughs> I, I really do. It's just endless fun. Um, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> it's so rewarding as well. I, I will say, playing with the hard, I, I don't like hardcore. I don't like it as a concept. I, I genuinely don't. I do like the the punishment for dying, right? I like the idea of you lose your stuff. Oh God, we've got to actually like put effort in to get it back. But I don't like losing all this progress. I, I guess in terms of YouTube, I get the benefit of I didn't lose the progress, right? Also, shift clicking is working now. I swear it wasn't working before. Um, maybe it doesn't work for some recipes that use like birch wood. Like I have birch wood, but it's looking for oak. Maybe those recipes don't work. Um, what was I going to say though? I was going to say something pretty important. Hold on. I'm thinking of it. Um, but yeah, I, I, I don't like the hardcore aspect. I thought we were going to have ac ac uh, access to the hearts in this pack. That's not in this pack. That's in like agrarian skies. What we have access to instead are the sink cores. And I, th once again, I think these are really, really, this is one of my favorite mods ever. Just this concept of sink, uh, the, the clonings that happen. It's really cool. I love it so much. Um, and portal gun, which I'll be honest, there was a chance that it was in this pack. Um, I'm surprised it's not. I, I'm sure it is. Portal. Yeah. Okay. So it's, it's definitely not in the pack, but sync is such a fun mod. Um, it was also possible that morph was in the pack, but I'm um, in controls. I don't see morph. Um, so I don't think it is. It doesn't look like it is. Um, but oh man, fun mods all around. The problem is though, of course, that sync core. Um, that we need for the shell constructor, the main ingredient that we don't really have access to at the moment, needs an ender pill. Um, the rest of the stuff I think we can easily get. The ender pill, I don't think there's an easy way to get it. I, I, I don't think so. Um, but anyhow, I'll tell you what, let's get this guy going. Oh my god, you know what? We can automate the cooking of all the bottles as well. There's so much we can do. Okay, so, so what I was going to do though is all these barrels, sure, cool. 
They get us stuff, right? We can process a lot at once. That's awesome, right? Realistically, every time I remember to collect them, it's going to be processing. What we should just have is one barrel and then a transfer pipe on the side. Already, that should pick it up. The fact that it hasn't makes me think that I'm going to have to put it underneath the barrel. Ugh, that's annoying. Um, we probably do have to do that, so I'll redesign this whole thing. But yeah, just having one barrel is going to be a lot better. So this chest has a bunch of stuff in it. You're going to go there. 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 <laughs> so that should work. Oh, oh, you can't open. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, that's fine. If I break you, are you going to be okay? Yeah, you're okay. Uh, are you? Is that the night sky? That's the night sky. Okay. Let's, um... I mean, I guess you're enclosed, so it is fine. It's put... Listen. It's fine. Okay? It's perfectly fine. It's just... I would like for there to be a block. Uh, probably... I guess a fence block. Does that work? Because he'll connect to every side, and then that opens. Sure. We'll pretend that that's going to be A-OK -okay to have. Um, so this guy can have the leaves. So this guy will fill up. Perfect. I do need to get under there which I can't easily do without breaking blocks. And I kind of just didn't want to, but I guess there's no reason not to. Um, you're going to go there, and that should work. We'll obviously find out sooner or later, but that should work. It might have worked on the side if I actually put an inventory for, for it to go to, but regardless, this is going to work. Awesome. So that should give us infinite dirt, assuming I obviously put leaves in. Um, in the grand scheme of things, I want to make so much stuff. I'm going to make so many transfer nodes. We obviously need more redstone, but guess what? The redstone doctor was in. He got us redstone. Um, so... Oh, boy, there, there's so much to do. <laughs> there is so much to do. I want to get two of these. These transfer nodes are essentially hoppers, but better, right? Um, so they're cheaper as well, because we obviously don't have that much iron. We're getting there, but we don't at the moment. Um, transfer node. I can't spell it. I keep writing transfer. Trans <laughs> um, we're going to get more chests. Does this recipe exist? No, okay. I, th I thought I'd check before we uh, continue making chests the, the slow way. Boom, two transfer nodes, awesome. I'll grab you, but I'm not going to keep using you. Um, I'll grab you guys if I have all the spots. We do, cool. Okay, so one of the furnaces out here. Um, uh, uh, I'll put the cactus away and I'll grab you. Do we have any cactus over there? It's possible. It's possible it's just not loaded in because I'm too far away. I, I, I don't really know. Um, what we're going to do, though, is I'm going to... If we're automating in here, we might as well continue, <laughs> right? So I'm going to place you here. We're going to do two chests again, because why not? I'm having way too much fun here. Um, it'll probably just... This might just be a long episode. How does that sound? That might be a good compromise. Do we have an extra fence post? We do! Whose idea was that? A genius amongst us. Among, among, uh, around us. Uh, near us. Boom. Among us. Um, okay. You're going to go there, obviously. You're going to go there. Cool. Nope, you're not going to go there. I'm going to have to place you underneath. Um, you're going to go there. We do need a spot for fuel, but once again, realistically, I, I'm fine with putting a stack of stuff in whenever we need to. That should be fine. So this guy, you're going to get dirty water bottles. Beautiful. You're going to fill up with dirty water bottles. Wonderful. Then he's going to empty of dirty water bottles. Also wonderful. In the meantime, uh, in terms of fuel... We do have charcoal. No, it's not really a point. I'll just put planks in. There we go. Cool. So that's going to be automated water. Wonderful. Obviously, I'm going to have to keep putting water in there, but the hard part's done. Um, we can also, if we want to, make sure that we have the full stack in. <sighs> All this, like, ease of ease of access, I guess. You know, these quality of life things. That's the word. Quality of life. Oh, it's going to be wonderful. Fill these guys up. Cool. <laughs> Meet you guys back at the top. Um, what else do we need to do? What else is annoying? Obviously, food's annoying. Food, we need to figure that out. That, that's, oh, we could run transfer. <gasps> Autonomous activator with water bottle or glass bottle, sorry. Fills it up with water. Another transfer pipe. We've obviously got crazy amounts of the pipes. Brings it up here to smelt or even just smelts it down there and brings the empty uh, or the full clean bottle up here. Oh my God, there's the, the, oh, there's so much we could do. <laughs> I was like, duh, duh, duh. <laughs> but there, there's so much we can do. And then this is just clean water bottles. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Okay. So for starters, let's go ahead and fill up our camel pack for the first time in probably a while. Uh, I actually want to do it all in one. So let's go here, 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 here. And cause it's a crafting station, it stores the items. Cool. Um, so this can go there. Full camel pack. Delicious. In terms of food and auto farming that, it's going to be a little bit 
more time consuming, I guess. Uh, in the meantime, let's go ahead and make some more spider stock. I don't know if, I don't know how much more spider stuff we got in us. How much have we eaten? Okay, we're, we're good to eat these two. That, that'll be good. That'll keep us going for a bit. Um, awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> this is very, very cool. Uh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Let's check over here. Any cactus? No. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to figure out what we're doing with the cactus, but I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Uh, in the meantime, what are we doing? Water is pretty good. The dirt situation is, I mean, it's working. We're actually getting all this dirt, which is very, very cool. Now, obviously, it's slow at the moment, but over time, it's going to pay off, I think. Um, so, bit by bit, I can start making this farm look nice. Uh, it's going to be difficult because the farm looks hideous, but we can do it. I'm sure we can do it. Uh, so, we're going to have to move everything over one. That should be fine because I do want to have these be three by threes as well. And obviously, it's going to look weird having the rice like that. I'll, I'll show you what I mean if, if it's not making too much sense. I should be using a shovel right now because this isn't getting any durability. 59. Still 59, but nah, don't have one on me. <laughs> Back in the bank, it's it's a few meters away. Um, so, I'll place that there. I'll go grab it. Oh, yeah. This is much better. Um, so, yeah. Obviously, we want to place it there um, and do this, this, and this. That should be good. Um, and so I want the rice to maybe like sit in the corner. And, and so that should be easily done. We also need like 10 rice seeds and stuff. So I don't know, we'll figure out what we're doing. So we can grab all this, plant all this. Make sure we pick it all up. Beautiful. So that's going to go there. We can place some other crops there. That'll be fine. And we can continue this around. And so the design is going to be this three by three all the way around. Possibly. Possibly just this strip. That might be enough. That might be enough in terms of visual and all of that. If we want, we can have the water flow out in those directions too. It might be too big that it's annoying. So I think we just leave it as it is. I think this is a nice shape. Um, what I might do in order to cure my itch that I have at the moment in terms of playing this, I might break all this before this episode ends because it'll level up my, my Matic as well, or at least get us closer to that leveling up, which is pretty good. How are you doing? Ah, oh, two down. Thank you very much. We could also place more of these, get that going. But, oh my God. Uh, listen, we are living the life. <laughs> um, it's pretty good. Um, so yeah, th thank you guys so much for the support in the series. I, I know I say it every episode, but I mean, I, I should be saying it every episode because I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm still, I don't know. It, it's hard to come with grips, come to grips with the fact that like, realistically, there's no hype surrounding this pack, right? And so like the people watching, like that, that's purely us. You know what I mean? Like, like obviously the pack's good and people remember it. So there's that, I guess, hype. But in terms of the raw reach and all that, and just like, bring people in as long as I can provide the content apparently we can we can bring the people in where we're stable enough as a community that, that, that that's the thing we have I'm really I need to figure out the server side of stuff because I would love to see what people come up with and, and see people experience this pack and in, in, in a community aspect because that, I mean that's that's where the fun is right um when you're playing at home um because obviously for, for me I'm having fun because I know that people are watching this whereas if you're just playing at home you, you're still having fun but I don't know, you, you have to just tell your friends about it as opposed to, um, you know, actually getting that like raw feedback, I guess, and, and responses. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, I'm going to go chop this stuff down. Um, and yeah, that should be good. <laughs> Alright, um, there is something else we can do. We can try to cover this up. Um, and that'll just make us feel a little bit safer if I just do some of this. <gasps> okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Let's just cover that up. There we go. That should that should all stop flowing. Let's quickly go and... Uh, oh, there's water right there, isn't there? Okay, we're, we're good. We're good. We're good. We burned a little. We've got heat strike definitely now. But we... We've, I mean, we've still got water. So all we need is food now. Um, Food-wise, we've got blueberries. We've got cranberries. We've got cutting. And we've got mixing. I'm pretty sure we can uh, do this whole little fiasco, right? Fruit salad. Delicious. Wonderful. Okay, so we're good. Um, as you can see, I've cleaned up the area. I think it looks uh, quite nice. This area should stop. I'm thinking that fire might still... Yeah, I guess that'll still burn. But that, I mean, that's a lot better. This area is now in need of light, which I guess is a, to be expected. All the fire's gone that was uh, providing all the light previously. Um, if I place this guy here, that might... There we go. I think we're good. I think in terms of lighting, we're still good. <laughs> I am a little bit concerned because I, I honestly didn't think about that. It's good I checked. Um, but yeah. Whew, okay, okay. Um, yeah, I still want to expand this. We ran out of shears. I've obviously got more iron on us. We've got that guy constantly running. Um, we've actually got some more for him. In case he was thinking about running low. Oh my god. It's... 
Um, let's check on the dirt as well. I'd love to get this dirt platform uh, or dirt area somewhat done. There's still more leaves. Yeah, he's, he's really good. That guy's insane. Man. Do we want to... Um, I'm, I'm just tempted. I guess we need an autonomous activator. We can't really automate that just yet, I don't think. Um, this stuff's all pretty cool. Um, yeah. Oh, tool broke. Um, but we got haste on it. Cool. A little bit of a perk there. Um, let's go ahead and repair this guy a little bit. Um, so hopefully he's now a little bit faster. Um, <laughs> he doesn't feel that faster. Um, I just went through and I've been clearing out the area for where we're going to build um, the farm out, right? It's going to be three out all the way around here. Um, and I'm thinking as well, what we can do is this can all be slabs. I'm thinking as well, maybe we pick up this guy. I don't think he's doing too much at the moment anyway. Um, but these can all be slabs along the outside here and around this whole thing. Um, with the idea that it stops us from trampling the, the um, crops, right? Because we stand on a slab. Um, and well, I don't know. There's a nice little skirting around it. Okay, so there we go. This is uh, roughly it. Obviously, I've got to fill out the entire area. Oh, you as well need to become uh, dirt. I guess we can do that right now. Um, make sure we get all that stuff. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, th this, should be, this should work wonderfully. Alrighty, so... Um, oh my god, it's, it, that'll never not be just horrendous. Do we, we still only have three arrows. I, don't, I still don't know how the arrows work. Um, I guess we'll sleep. Is that, is that the play? Maybe. Uh, do, 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 do. I think we're done. I think we're good for this episode. I, I, I'm pretty happy. We've cleaned this area up. We've obviously got more trees, more farming to do. Um, in terms of automation, I think so far what we've done is pretty good. Automated dirt, automated, uh, water. A semi, I'll say semi-automated, because obviously the inputs are still not fully automated. But the production is uh, automated, which is nice. Um, we have automated sifting, which is good. Obviously, we don't have automated collection of dust to begin with, so that's we're still going to work on that. I think I think we can probably figure that out. Um, I reckon next on the list, oh, I'm not sure to be honest. I'm not sure. We, we have a, we have a few options as per usual. Um, I think I grab this sign. And possibly the other signs. And I'll add to this list over here. So I'm thinking we do um, animal farm chicken. Right? Do chickens. Any other animals we can figure out how to get. Uh, cactus farm for water. Sort of done. Sort of done. Can we edit this at all? No. That's fine. We'll leave that there. Ancient spores. We haven't done that yet. We'll have to look into that. Um, the whole pulverizer stuff to like get our hands on um, renewable resources. I don't necessarily think we have that available to us just yet. Um, obviously, we did the whole crucible thing. Um, do, 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 do. Not sure. Not sure. Not sure what the plan is. Um, yeah, I really, I really don't know what the plan is. Because the only way to get it is pulverizer or autonomous activator with a hammer. Assuming that that works, I, which it might not. Um, it's possible that these things will be rewards, though. You know what I mean? Like any of those things, either of those things. So we'll, um, we'll have to keep an eye out. Oh, number three. Oh, okay. We'll get miniature red hearts or grilled cheese. If we claim to have all of this stuff, we have to obviously detect it all. And then they want us to, oh, bag of holding. That's what we want to store our stuff. I was like, is there a backpack or something? That, that'd be what we want. Gold bag of holding. Yeah, we can probably afford that. Um, and so this is to go exploring to get some good resources, right? I want to avoid that until we have a backup life, which means what this should be is sync core, oh, oh, sync uh, core ender pearl. We need our hands on an ender pearl, which means one of these nights, what we'll do is we'll wait for an enderman to show up. We'll make a platform for killing the enderman and we will, uh, we'll, we'll try our luck. We'll get like the dagger and stuff. So oh, yeah, oh, this thing is going to be beautiful. I, I already love the look of this so far. Um, I'll have to go back and read up how, the, how those work. Uh, but yeah, I think that's it for this episode. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you are still enjoying it. Hopefully, uh, I don't know, we're still having fun. It's gotten a little bit less stressful. There's still, it still has its moments for sure, but uh, I'm definitely feeling a little bit more at ease. Um, what I'm thinking as well is, uh, we should definitely do a three by three of these berries, maybe. I don't know. The, the berries are pretty good at getting like fruit salad and stuff, but yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, every, everything's slowly falling into place. You know what I mean? We're, we're, we're slowly getting there. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.